Harvey has strained the health care system in Houston as well. Aside from attending to the injured, there are also life-saving treatments needed by patients with chronic diseases. One of those is dialysis. Tamika Weatherspoon from Houston Public Media visited the DaVita Medical Center dialysis facility and filled me in a little while ago. Tamika, thank you for being with us. First off, just give us an idea of how many people we're talking about here. Well, when we arrived, there were upwards of at least 100 people in the clinic. Uh, when I was talking to some of the volunteers and the staff there, they were saying they'd seen hundreds, hundreds who had come in during the storm. They were only closed for one day, and that's just because Sunday was, you know, horrific for anybody trying to travel. But other than that, they'd been open and they'd been seeing patients and getting quite a bit of overflow. Try to give us an idea of how serious this problem is, Tamika. If someone misses a dialysis appointment, that's a big deal, isn't it? It's a huge deal. Um, honestly, if you miss an appointment, these, these treatments are regular and scheduled for a reason. It's deadly. It's potentially deadly. It's potentially fatal if you don't receive these treatments. Um, dialysis itself is to clean out the blood. So uh, certain types of liver and kidney diseases, um, they're unable to do that. So. It's, it's really critical that they're able to get these treatments. I talked to a doctor, Dr. Alivero, at the, at the clinic, and he was just telling me how his staff was working nonstop, pretty much, to administer these treatments to all of these people. What is an inconvenience for many people having this type of storms, it can be a matter of life and death to these dialysis patients. Tamika, I know you've had a chance to talk to some patients. How are they coping? Well, it was really difficult, actually, be, to be in the clinic. You know, there were a lot of people waiting for this life-saving treatment. Um, and just the distance that people had to come to get there, it's, it's, really, it's really, really tough to kind of witness that. Um, but the patients I, were able, I was able to speak with were really optimistic and really grateful to have a clinic that was actually open when their local cl clinics had been closed due to all of the flooding uh, and, you know, just difficulty with traveling. Um, I talked to a patient while she was receiving treatment. Uh, her name was Deborah Payne, and she was just really happy to still be alive. I was afraid. I just, you know, I didn't know what I was going to do. And I'm sure all the other people who couldn't make it, who know that they have to do this to survive, were concerned about whether they were going to make it here or not. This has to be a huge strain on the hospital staffs. Give us a sense of how they're coping. Well, they're being really optimistic, um, much like some of the people, the patients that I spoke with. Uh, they were really passionate and really, really cared about helping everyone that was there. But they were still working incredibly long hours. And uh, honestly, you know, you could see them a little bit tired. You could kind of see it in their eyes. But they really cared about what they were doing. Uh, they were understaffed and, you know, had uh, not as much resources as they probably need. Um, but they were just, you know, really, really passionate about helping everyone that was there. Tamika Weatherspoon with Houston Public Media. Thank you. Thank you. A reminder that if you're looking to give to Harvey relief efforts, you can donate to a number of groups working on the ground. Organizations, including the Red Cross, are accepting donations online or by phone.